it's difficult to disagree with that. President Assad is, is evil, is he not? Actually, it's pretty easy, and the ones who are disagreeing with His Excellency are the Syrian people. You believe that these, these various factions, all of whom have their hands bloodied, not dirty, have to be part of a negotiation? They will be part of a negotiation. You know, you don't make peace with your friends. Mm -hmm. You make it with your enemies, and at some point you're going to have to sit down or we're in a forever war, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants people to die in Syria. This is madness to say that Russia doesn't care that people are dying. Of course it does. What do you think of the, the very notion of breaking up Iraq? Are we doing a bit of a, a modern-day Sykes-Pico here, colonially sitting here and carving up your country? It's a typical American discussion. You are preaching to the converted right. here. You've been played before. Well, listen, no. What's in the 28 pages? Does it tell us that Saudi Arabia did 9-11? The 28 pages primarily deal with who financed 9-11, and they point a strong finger of uh, at Saudi Arabia. Human Rights Watch says it saw some Arabs denied access to their homes in Kirkuk. Other Arabs insist uh, that they're not welcome there. I have not seen the report of uh, Human Rights Watch. I wish if they had written their report, they could have come to me uh, and we have discussed everything with them. And if there is atrocity, I will join them in condemning it. Democracy is a long-term goal for the region. Why pick on Saudi Arabia? Okay. There are no democracies in the Arab world, period, okay. of any consequence. Tunisia? Tunisia is a, is a measured democracy, and you can come up with one example from a thousand miles away. If you rush uh, straight to democracy in a multi-ethnic or sectarian divided society, it can actually be really explosive. The worst case scenario, uh, as any Syrian I think today uh, would acknowledge, is for a state to disintegrate. Civil war is worse than empire. Civil war and anarchy are worse than authoritarianism. What's the end game here? Do you think that if you do enough interviews and write enough books, one day ISIL's going to sit there and say, wow, we've been wrong all along. I mean, in the <laughs> end, there's still going to be someone who is going to find it unacceptable and may kill someone as a result. There may be Muslims within Muslim communities, individuals. The most important minority in the world is the individual who would like to practice their faith in another way. I okay. think leaders of other countries resent the fact that we are a free country and that we encourage our citizenry to think and to speak out. Dictators don't generally like that. I, I don't think that they look at us like a character in Mean Girls, where they're like, wait a second, America has freedom? If I can't have freedom, no one can have freedom. Nice. How about gay marriage? Yeah. Well, but the, I, I don't I don't consider that to be a legitimate civil right. I'm a committed atheist, and the whole thing just looks, the whole religion thing looks bizarre to me. Climate change has become sort of the religion of progressives, and this is sort of a modern-day witch hunt. 21 senators. They said torture's okay. What's they did not, that? oh, oh my <laughs> God. On, they say? did not uh, say that. They said enhanced interrogation techniques are not illegal. They're not presently. They, they, they did not say torture is okay. That okay, is so Al Jazeera the, the thing, nonsense. Okay, so, so the Republicans that John is referring to say, oh my God, voter fraud, voter, voter fraud. Democratic hold Secretary on, of State on, Bill Gardner, John, New Hampshire. Sake, He's finish. a Democrat. He agrees okay. there's voter fraud. Yeah, Go up me, to New Hampshire and interview John, him. you got to let me finish. The reason he filibusters is because no, he knows he's wrong. If you're talking about taking on Wall Street, or raising the minimum wage, or raising taxes to support, support Social Security, you cannot begin to address those issues until you address this corruption first. And that's the reality of our government right now. It does not work and will not work until we get our democracy back. If the government cannot guarantee the personal safety of its citizens, then they must provide the citizen with the tools so that they can do it themselves. I trust people. With, with that, with so that explain, second amendment explain right. Explain your fear of government tyranny. Well, one of them is slavery, and I'm glad that you brought that up. Who is the racist white person in America? Who symbolizes that? I reject the notion that just because I'm white that somehow I'm biased, or just because um, you might be of another color or mixed, uh, that you're biased we against me. We all have me. implicit bias, all well, of us. You're black, and you're saying things that are actually supporting structural racism. Be being black does not make you automatically anti-racist. Let's call this police 3.0, RoboCop <laughs> policing of the future. Yeah. I'm talking about police 1.0, MS DOS policing. Yeah is not at a good level right now with the NYPD, hashtag I can't breathe, all of this stuff. Quote, either we are home to the most evil people on earth or we are doing something dramatically wrong in how we approach criminal justice. So is the United States home to the most evil people on earth? Oh, I wasn't able to hug my mother for 18 and a half years. I had to watch my kids grow up from behind a plexiglass. You know, they're never gonna give me that back, mm. never, you know? So that hurt me the most. But then at the end of the day, what hurt also is that she was calling me something that I wasn't. I was a father, 
I was a son, I was a brother, but I was not a murderer. Before we go, I want to share our final thought. Whether there's a Ferguson effect or not, police in the communities they serve have to reach an accommodation where nonviolent citizens of any race shouldn't have to fear anyone with a uniform, a badge, and a gun. Acknowledging that we should all be unequivocally pro-police, especially, especially in light of a relative few bad actors. Well, that's really third rate.